I'm Kevin Price with The Price of Business. I'm Business Talk 1110 AM KTAK in Houston, Texas, Bloomberg's home in Houston, and also with U.S. Daily Review, the national news website. I'm here at this great, huge franchise expo, first time in Texas, Franchise Expo itself, interviewing a lot of the uh, various franchises, learning a lot about their story and what they're doing for others to help pursue the American dream. Scott Nellaway, he's CEO of a company called French Fry Heaven. I love, by the way, the packaging, the wrapping. I, I, I think it's great. You know, it's kind of old school and reminds you of uh, french fries back in the day the way french fries were supposed to be made tell us so your story served, scott served in the newspaper cone that uh, we actually picked it up from europe this used to be popular years ago when you know our grandparents were around in the u.s then it went away and then it became really popular in europe everywhere and so we're just bringing it back and we've kind of captured we took the the basic fry and we turned it into a gourmet fry we've yeah. got sizes spices sauces salts that are just out of this world, completely change the flavors, every spectrum. We've got her favorite over there, which is the ghost pepper salt, which is the hottest salt in the world. We've got a garlic parmesan with the black truffle salt. It's all different kinds of stuff. And it's a, it's a snack food market. It's, uh, we're targeting the 10 hours of a day that are not breakfast and lunch or, di lunch or dinner. You know, there's a million opportunities for that. We're doing something completely different, which is targeting everywhere, every other time in the day. So tell me about the history. How old is the company? Where to get started? That, that type of thing. Sure. Um, it's actually only a three-year-old company. Uh, we had no intention of franchising. We opened up our first store. My wife and I kind of came up with this idea. I was working as a college president. And uh, when we opened up the first store, within two months, I had a stack of business cards about three inches high of people that wanted franchises. So we worked with some of the best in the business, reached out to some really knowledgeable people. And, you know, a year later, a year, a year ago, we started franchising. In our first year of franchising, we, had, uh, we sold 56 units which apparently is some sort of record somewhere. Um, it's a nice start. I mean, it's a nice start. It's a really easy concept for people to grasp. It's a very high, it's a very high margin industry. So people get that they, if you talk to people in the food industry, your margin items are your, your, your potatoes, your drinks, and your alcohol. And we've got all three in most cases. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And that, that's an extraordinary number. I can't tell you how many franchisors I've interviewed over the last 16 years and uh, 15 years. And uh, that's an extraordinary number in that kind of time frame. So congratulations. That says volumes. What do you attribute it to? It, it's an easy concept. I mean, if, if right now, French fry heaven. We serve two kinds of fries. We put a, tons of toppings on it. There. Do you understand what we do? Yeah. Do you also do you understand where the margins are? Yeah. It's potatoes. It's drinks. It's it's alcohol. Got it. I mean, it's just it's very easy to wrap your mind around it. Plus, when it comes down to it, everybody loves fries. Simple as that. Everybody loves fries. Absolutely. So, so uh, what do you project your goals for 2015? Um, you know, we're going to open up those 50 other stores uh, this year, and then I think our goal, our goal by the end of next year, we want to try and get it. We got 56 this year. Let's try and get to 80 next year, this this coming year in 2014. So we go into 2015 for that target of 100, 100 plus stores a year from then on. Yep. And how do people get more information? What's your website? Uh, it's FrenchFryHeaven.com, uh, or you can read the more interesting one, which is FrenchFryHeaven.com backslash FAA. If you want to read my blog, and you know, it's, it's certainly interesting to you. <laughs> I bet it's great stuff. I personally, I love the stories of of, uh, of entrepreneurs, and you're an entrepreneur on the front lines with a real world product. You know, you get these books by Fortune 500 and Fortune 100 CEOs. It's like, yeah, but what about the rest of us? You're telling the story for the rest of us. I think it's awesome. Congratulations, Scott. Actually, I'll comment on that because I think you, it goes well with what you're doing on your radio station. One of the things that I've actually put in my blog and told people is that. If, if I can raise funds to open up a French fry franchise, what can't you raise funds for? It's America. Right. This is the richest country in the, in the world for a reason. There's people with money that are eager to put it in play, but you've got to come up with an idea. It doesn't have to be my franchise. It doesn't have to be your business. It's do something. You know, America is built to make you become whatever you want to be, but you've got to get off your duff to do it. All right, Scott, appreciate it. FrenchFryHeaven.com. Make sure you check it out. I'm Kevin Price with The Price of Business on Business Talk 1110, Bloomberg's home in Houston, and with USDataReview.com, the national news website.